stop walking. Hunting season. And I don't appreciate being summoned. Get out of the car. What? You can shoot me? Get out of the damn car, Olivia! Thanks to a stolen surveillance program called Thorngate, President Fitz has more than enough drama on his plate. Adding to his stress is the fact that he's somewhat of an awkward hunter, and his anxiety shows during an outdoor excursion with Olivia. I am angry because you're committing treason. I am angry that you're behaving like a traitor to your country. To my country or to you? Oh, come on, this isn't personal. But despite their spirited combo about terrorism, there's some underlying romance that needs to be addressed. And Fitz revelations lead to some outdoor PDA, with the Secret Service paying proper respect. Given the setting and unresolved issues, however, Fitz is left alone to think about what could have been, or maybe could be. Even so, the tree kiss is romantic and steamy. Number 7. Afternoon Delight. Randy, Red, Super Freak, and Julia. Yesterday my life was filled in the season 4 premiere, Olivia is now going by the name Julia Baker in Zanzibar and living it up with her beloved Jake. In fact, she's so relaxed that she's about to indulge in Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl. Sunny one so true, I love you. Hi. Hi. But once Jake shows up with a big smile, Olivia trades literature for some beach romance, and her man takes full control of the situation. They've got 15 minutes to enjoy themselves, and Jake acts like a true gentleman by posing a practical question, which Olivia quickly answers. It's about 15 minutes out. You want to use those 15 minutes? And so, Jake guides the steamy moment, leading to a little afternoon delight for both parties. Don't stop. Number six, no one will ever ride you like I do. Pencils down. What's up, Liv? What do you want? By season five, Olivia has plenty of dirt on her man Jake, and she understands that information is power. Not only does Olivia use her words to frustrate Mr. Ballard, but she also gets all up in his physical space. And you better believe that Jakey is about to ride. Incidentally, Olivia reminds him of a few basic facts about her, um, personal and professional abilities. I'm just a twisted sociopath. Who takes whatever she wants, no matter who gets bulldozed along the way. And so while Jake doesn't receive the sexual healing he anticipates, he does receive yet another lesson in the ways of Miss Olivia Pope. She means business, and she knows how to manipulate these types of steamy moments to her advantage. I will. I wanted you to see the dream. Vermont is for lovers too. You know everything. Not everything. Everything I could legally tell you. You know who I am and you're just this bundle of dirty little secrets. Olivia Pope is a busy woman and so is the president of the United States. So when they manage to sneak off to Vermont in season three, you know they're going to work things out, so to speak. But there's significance to the location as it represents a dream they once had. Is this where you're staying? No. It's not really ready to live in. Needs a good cleaning. With the sounds of Bill Withers playing over the scene, the two share a moment of sexual pleasure as the Kyoto Scuro lighting reminds of their dark and bright history. They don't need to worry about any interruptions, and they get it on like they're the last lovers alive. Number four, Mr. President. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Look around you business in the scene, as it serves as a unique spot for the lovers to conduct some personal business. You're the most important person in my life. I can't just stop. Given the unbuckling of the president's pants and Olivia's moaning, it's clear what transpires next, but Scandal keeps it classy with the steamy insinuations. In one of the series' pivotal episodes, this sexual encounter sheds light on the character's erotic backstory and kept loyal fans talking around the water cooler. Number three, their first time, the trail. In Scandal's first throwback episode, Olivia's first sexual encounter is detailed in full. Given the context, there's an obvious amount of tension, with both her and Fitz coming to the realization that it just may be the time.
Thanks to some precision editing and a moody score, there's almost a softcore element to the scene, complemented by the aggressive foreplay. All in all, the moment has the necessary eroticism to spark the character's love story. As both Olivia and Fitz come to grips with their obvious chemistry and submit themselves to the passion they want and need. Number 2. Fitz chooses and earns Olivia in the shower. A woman scorned. Near the conclusion of season 2, the clock is ticking for Mr. Fitz, and it's time to make a decision about his turbulent love life. Given Olivia's reaction, it's clear that an epic love scene will follow, and it comes later on as Melly gives a primetime interview. I just want to ask the American people tonight in advance for their understanding and their forgiveness. It's one of the more erotic love scenes that you'll see on network television, as Olivia and Fitz don't mess around whatsoever. To top it off, Fitz gets all romantic in the shower during the final scene, which means the world for Olivia. Of course, we can't forget about their steamy season 4 moment, which solidified their legacy when it comes to erotic primetime shower scenes. You are beautiful. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Electrifying the Electrical Room Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. For Olivia and Fitz, there's not always time to choose the ideal place for a quickie. Sometimes passion takes over. It's one of the more spontaneous scandal moments, as the two lovers submit themselves to the moment. In other words, the scene is lit, and the close-up visuals suggest that both Liv and Fitz receive the expected sexual gratification. Whereas some love scenes are brief and romantic, this one is a bit more substantial and sexualized. Do you agree with our list? Focus. Let's just give it a sec. What? Wait. What do you think is the steamiest scandal moment? I made a mistake. We both did. For more passionate top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. I've never had sex on top of the piano. <laughs> it's really cold. Mm, slippery. <laughs>